Okay, good morning. This is Mark with Northern Ants Gaming, and today we are jumping into a new game. It's a little bit different than uh, my typical games, which I do play these games, I just haven't um, recorded them. I do things like uh, City Skylines and, and stuff like that, but this is a kind of a city builder slash survival economy kind of game. Um, I can't pronounce the name very well. It's a Ostriv. It O S T R I V. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Uh, so we'll let you pronounce it however you however you think it's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> um, okay, first thing we got to do is we got to find a spot to place our camp. Uh, camp location. Uh, we're just gonna set it right here because it's got. It's got access to trees. Whoa, sorry about that. Uh, it's got access to trees and to the river for there's resources along the river. Plus you can f um, set people to fish. What we're gonna need is we're gonna need food pretty quickly. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is, which it's telling us to build a forestry for wood production. Uh, down here on the bottom, we have a task bar, which um, it's got our houses, water production, transport, government, decor, uh, education, health, and religion. So first we want to do is production. Uh, we got a forestry building. Uh, for, and what you can do is rotate the building with T and R. You want to get it pretty close to the trees so that they don't have to walk too far to get them. Okay. And then you left click to place it and your people will then start to gather their uh, wagons so they can gather the resources from the, the supply tents. You know, it's about as close as you can get to being able to see. Uh, right now we're in March and we need to, the primary goal right now is we want to get uh, enough houses for all of our families because if it if it gets to be winter and they don't have a house they're not going to want to stay in your t in your community if they have to live in a tent which i understand that <laughs> uh, we just had actually had a, a major update with the game taking us to alpha 4 and they added a lot of cool stuff like uh, one thing that was not in the game before was the village house uh, with a garden. So now we can actually take and build a house that's got a fence around it that the citizens can now plant their own garden that they can use the food plus they can also sell some of the, the food that they have so it would be good for other citizens of your community also. Plus for we're going to need things like thatch, which I'm going to set that because we're going to need thatch for a lot of different things. So we want to get that going so we get a citizen on producing it. And we're going to need food. So I'm thinking for right now the best option, because it'll take quite a while to get Oh, we're gonna need, for a boat. We're gonna need a, for fishing. We're gonna need a boat yard also. So that might not be the best option. Uh, let's get some dry hay drying going. If you place it in an area where it's got other stuff like trees, they'll cut those trees down before they place it. We can also speed up. The game speed a little bit. We'll do that just so we can get this building up and going. Uh, another thing that we're going to need is we have a limited supply of nails and to continue building houses we're going to need those nails. So what we're going to want to do is build a smithy. There's so many buildings that you need to build like right away to kind of a uh, get yourself set up nicely for basically the beginning stages of the game 
Oh, let's zoom out a little bit here. If you hit F, it seems it, it flips your house into different locations. So we're going to set that. Uh, let's see. I've played this game since Alpha 1. Things have changed a ton. So I'm kind of relearning it again also. I play so many different games, it's like trying to keep track of the controls and stuff for each one is a little difficult sometimes. And we need something for food, that's the thing. Um, because we can we can get a ton of it. We get chickens and cows and uh, do we have pig? Yeah, pigs. Okay, we've got this the forestry buildings done. Now what you do is you click on the forestry building and over in this menu, you can assign workers. I'm gonna assign three people to cutting wood so that we can be sure we don't run out as we're trying to build a lot of houses before the winter comes. Oh, plus we need we need clay, so we're gonna want a clay pit. Uh, and we don't want these things to be too far away, but we don't want them like. Uh, let's see. Let's put it. Let's put it right over here. I'm not sure if we're able to produce iron yet. That's something that we might need a um, trading post for. Let's see, a farm. Seeing it's still March, might be a good idea to try to get a farm up. Let's put the farm over here, because then we'll have that whole big open area to set up fields. We get all these things up and going, and then we'll start popping out the houses. Let's let's up our speed a little bit more to get these people get them working on these buildings. We do have a well here, so that's got water, so we don't have to worry about that too much right now. I love the the how they actually go out there and cut the trees who's gonna get the first house and whenever you get a new production building you want to make sure you go in and assign people to it the detailing is really cool on the construction how they set all the beams and, and stuff The only thing I kind of would like to see would be more of a ability to uh, build more than one house at a time. Okay, cool. It looks like they are. Oh, they're already starting to put in a garden. Nice. Okay, what are they working on next? Okay, we got the thatch building going up. Nice and fast. That's good. Okay, let's get uh, let's let's drop our speed down a little bit because we don't want the seasons to go by too quickly. Uh, we're gonna assign one person to the thatch right now. It should be plenty. Uh, let's see, what are they working on next? Construction in progress. Okay, we got our smitty that's gonna be starting soon, and then we got our farm that'll be going, and then let's. Uh, okay, we still have straw. Let's see, nobody's put any hay on there yet. Let's see, was there hiring options? Oh, okay, that lets you choose if you want to who you want to uh, have working in a certain thing. Like if you only want men to work in it, then you can set that. Or if you only want women to work in it and so on. I 
I'm thinking about doing a series on uh, City Skylines also, because I love playing that game. I'm just, uh, you see all these people out that are doing, like, videos on it, and they make their cities look like a map. <laughs> I'm not that good at it yet, um, even though I've been playing it for a long time. That's another cool thing with this game is as as your people walk in an area, they walk more and more and more. You can see the grass is gradually being worn down. I guess we can start setting our, our houses. Now let's see, what's the difference between a house with with a garden and without? There really isn't. Or if there's a, a, if they take longer to build, because why would you do anything other than a house with a field, with their own garden? We can try it once. We'll set we'll set one for people that don't have their own garden, but. We'll do a couple with with, and then a couple without, and we'll see. And we can try to see if we can time them. Because we need to have for eight families. So we need eight houses. Okay, the smitty is done. Let's, uh, let's get one person going on that so they can start making some nails. Metal parts. Oh, and then we could do horseshoes too. Well, there must be a s there's a stable now. Okay. Oh, what's the what was they what were they needing? Oh, they were needing drinking water. Okay, somebody's going to f get it. Okay. Okay, good. The farm is getting there. And also, well, we're not gonna really need it yet. When when you get a farm going, if you have like uh, wheat or something, you, you're gonna want to have uh, a windmill for for grinding it. Charcoal. We might need that. Let's let's set up a charcoal. We'll just set it in the back of this house right here. And we can also set up another, uh, never hurts to have hay dryers around. Yeah, I can see that right now there's, they've got hay on it, but it needs time to dry. So let's, let, let's set another one. Not gonna hurt having it, have an extra set up for it. Okay, let's speed up the game a little bit and get that farm built. Because we want to try to see if we can get a field in, which it's already May. I don't know if we're going to have enough time. Is he working on any nails yet? Iron, okay. He's waiting on 50 more iron. And then he will begin production on the nails and stuff. That's good. That's that's what we need. And we 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 need some means of getting food. Oh, here we go. Trade. Let's uh we can also set up Oh, here okay. Let's set one of these up. This this way they'll move the straw there as kind of a storage area for people to come and grab them. Uh, we got granary trading post. Oh, a trading dock now. Never seen that before. Uh, market stalls. Okay, we want we want a couple of these things around because this is where people will go to get their supplies, and we're gonna assign one person to run that. So, and we okay, we can choose what we want to put in there. Um, let's because we're gonna need firewood also. Oh, honey, that's cool. Um, Oh, I don't know. What do we even have in town right now? Uh, I'm not sure what our supplies are. Let's see. 
Uh, can we do, let's say, water? Do we have water that we can put in there? No. Oh, people just go and grab it from the well, I guess. Okay, we'll just do fish and firewood for right now. Even though we don't have a dock or anything yet. Okay, our farm is done. Let's, let's put our speed back down a little bit because it's already June. Now, you click on the farm. We can add a field. Let's just, let's just do a fairly small field right now. Because we don't... You know, we don't have much time. I don't know if we'll even be able to sow it yet. Let me click on it, and it's going to be wheat. Okay, active. Go active. Okay, we don't have a plow yet, so... Okay, let's let's assign... Whoop, assign a couple workers here. And a manager. You want somebody to be managing them. Okay, that'll get us some wheat, and then we're going to want a windmill. And we'll just set that kind of in the back here. It might take a while for them to get to it. Oh, cool, they're the charcoal. Good. What they did is built, it looks like they built a clay pot around it and burnt some wood to get the charcoal. Okay, yes. Let's get them moving a little quicker, see if we can't get some more houses done here quickly. I guess we don't really need this yet. Let's let's demolish that. We don't need that yet. Because it's gonna be a while before we get any straw. Oh wow, yeah, it looks No, that's not that's still the same one. Okay. I was gonna say it looked like it was gonna be building a lot quicker, but Let's put another house. Uh, trying to get used to these controls. I'm kind of curious how quickly they can build this house compared. Okay, we still need seven more houses before winter. But it's only June, so we should be pretty good. Are they putting anything? Oh, I didn't. They haven't built that yet. Yeah, it's still got a little while before that comes up. Yeah, see, there's how there's these paths are being built. Uh, platform, platform is basically for life for it and production needs. And the well, let's let's get a a well over here. Might be closer for these houses here. Yeah, see, they're, they're demanding a lot of water from these. But eventually they won't be in the tents anymore, so that'll be good. Okay, we got, whoa, we got plenty of firewood going on. Guess we don't need that many people working. We'll take two off, and that'll give so we have more people for building. Okay, that's cool. They've got a five-year-old son. Love that how it, it shows the people that live there and what they're unemployed. I don't think he needs... Hmm, why is he unemployed? There should be plenty to do. Yeah, we don't have any fish yet. seem like it took any longer than what one with the farm did. And the nice thing that farm one is, see, look at, they're, yeah, they're not working on the field. Let's, let's take these people off, because the field, I think, was a little bit too late. And we will, yeah, it was a little too late putting in, so we don't need to be having anybody on that right now. 
Okay, what's this symbol for? Oh, we can't... can we up the... no, okay. I think that means that we have all we need. Let's... Uh, let's see, what else do we need? The next house I think we're gonna do is gonna be one with the farm again. Uh, can we put it... let's, let's put it to the back once. Whoop! Eek! Push the wrong button. And I like how the the fencing kind of connects together if you get its angle just right. I think this will be a little bit of a walk for them, but that way we can fit more houses if we put them back to back like that. Because we still need six more houses. Okay, cool. Five more houses to go. Okay, good. They're put they're built working on that for the hay storage. That's good. Not enough workers to chop. Okay. Um it is cuz they want more workers. That's what that symbol is for. So we'll assign one more person. Uh, I really want to try to get some fish going. Production. I wonder, do they need a boat? Let's let's get a fishing place going. Let's speed it up. Oh, I guess it is sped up already. Oh, uh, let, let's cancel this one. Okay, let, let's cancel that, and we're gonna put the what well right here. That is a little bit better idea, I think, because it's going to be more accessible for these houses, because the other one's all the way over here. Not like it's all that far, but... And it's cool, we can put decorations in now, too. Um, a gazebo. Let's. Do they have to build that? I think they do. I'll give them a place to kind of hang out. But we don't need to do it right now. <laughs> they don't need a gazebo. They need a house. We don't want to take up their building time with that. Small chapel. That'll be really good to get in there. What is the let's see? Losses of okay. Cool. So you have to have that to grow beyond a hundred people. Oh wow, okay. That's good. Only four more houses to go. But we are already in September already, so uh, I think the lake freezes in January, I think, or the river, so then we won't be able to do any more fishing. Oh, we need a boat. We're gonna need to build boats to be able to use the fishing dock, I think. Where's the boats? Where's the boats? Fishing dock, boat yard. Okay, um... I think, can we move these around? Okay, oh good, okay, we want the boat dock, and we're gonna want the well for the winter. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to call this episode, and what we're gonna do is the next episode, it's gonna be exciting to see what, if we can get these houses built in time. Like, are we going to... Oh, we need four more. 
we need some form of food. So it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna be cutting it close. So remember, hit that uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when the next episode comes out. So keep up on the up on the series. Let me know down in the comments how you're how you're liking the game. Um, okay. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Don't forget to check out the Northern Ants merch shop. The link is in most of the descriptions of the videos, plus on my homepage.